Hey everyone, we're going to talk about removing and replacing the glycol pump key on a micromatic unit. Um, this is very similar to the existing video we have, which is for our UBC glycol chillers. Uh, if you have a system that was installed, oh, up to 2023, you probably have a UBC chiller. It's black and micromatic here. You see it's stainless. Um, keys look a little bit different, but the same principle applies. A common sign that you need to replace your glycol pump key, which they last for a couple years, um, you'll notice that the chiller itself is on and it sounds like it's working fine. You have your temperature readout here on the display. It shows that it's nice and cold. However, your beer is coming out warm uh, and usually pretty foamy too. So if you get a reading on your beer and it's coming out, you know, 50, 60 degrees, or even, mo even warmer, depending on where you are, it's probably a good idea to check the glycol pump key. Uh, you might also notice a weird noise coming from your motor and you always hear a constant hum while it's running but maybe you might hear a higher pitch kind of squeal or something else is going on. It's worth checking out. First thing you're going to want to do before you mess with your glycol pump key is to turn the chiller off. So all you do is just press down on that and that'll turn off the unit and the motor you can let me zoom out a little here you can just unplug the motor so that's what this plug right here is you can just leave the chiller on and just unplug the motor and let it wind down that way depending on how long you need to work the unit itself will still stay cold so you can see that an extra glycol pump key is already installed with the unit and compared to our UBC keys which are white and cylindrical this is a little bit more two shapes there and it's blue but it's a, attached the same way in here so once your unit is off or you have the motor unplugged basically we're just going to there's two couplers here and two sets of screws we're just going to mess with one set of screws it's really not it's overkill to kind of do both so you can just use a nut driver. Uh, this is a 5 16 or you can also use a Phillips screwdriver. And that screw is on there pretty tight. So we'll just use the screwdriver. Once you get that loose, you can inspect the key. Uh, if this were normal wear and tear, you know, this would be worn down pretty heavily there. And that would probably be stripped out a little bit too. So I don't know if you can tell from this angle, but so this is our pump. This is what actually spins the glycol and transfers it through the lines and the motor just actuates the pumps and helps propel everything or impel everything, if you will. And so we've got a connector here and over this way, kind of see it from the angle. This is what, there's a little slit that this connects into. If your pump key is really worn down, you'll also have a bunch of debris inside the coupling here and inside the motor, uh, just dust and worn down, you know, plastic parts. So just get a, rag or if you have a, a little air duster just spray that in there get out any debris and then you can take this out and put your new key on and to do that i attach it to the motor first so you'll use this side here fit it into the slits and you can either manually or it's probably easier just to use the pump or use the motor just to line up this with the slit in the key should just fit right on there. Now we got this back on. All we have to do is screw the t or tighten the screw back. And again, this can be kind of tough. These screws can really be in there. So it's kind of a balancing act and you want it, want it to stay aligned 
with that as well. All right, once you have your screw nice and tight, it doesn't need to be like massively tight, but good and snug for sure. You don't want this moving around anywhere. As long as everything is all lined up, it fits well. This is looking good here. You can just fire back up your unit. And if there's anything weird, you'll hear it right away. Turn everything off and take this off and redo it. That's the process.